Ow. See, I got shoes on. That's why my, I hit my head on that thing. Um, hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Brandon, the gate guy. So I just wanted to give a quick update and show you something new that I got uh, yesterday. Um, we're just we've been getting swamped with work, which is a good thing. Um, so I'm actually looking to hire some people, uh, specifically some sort of a job foreman to take over the install side of it. Um, <clears throat> so we gotta find the right person for that. And then um, probably just hire some like day laborers through a staffing agency here in town, you know, help dig trench, stuff like that. Um, save our backs when I get younger, doing this for a while. So that, you know, that always helps out. Um, <clears throat> anyway, my thought was, well, I need to get another truck, which I do, but in the meantime, I kind of have to do it in stages, so if you don't know a lot about us and about our company, we don't like debt, we don't borrow money. If you do, that's fine. We're just, uh, uh, I, I can't do credit cards, uh, it doesn't work. You know, you, you have, oh, I can get this on sale and sell a job and, you know, make the profit, pay it back real quick. Uh, for us, it never happens. So, uh, one thing is, that, you know, we kind of grow slower because of that, which is fine, but we pay cash for everything. So, um, I would encourage anybody to try to do that, especially starting out, because we start out with a lot of debt. Um, you know, we still have a little personal debt, but uh, that's going to be going away here probably the next year, 18 months. <clears throat> but this video is not about that. Um, just have a new tool for the, for the fleet, I guess. So shooting a video and I got a phone call which shuts it off so uh, lost my train of thought anyway I gotta edit this down um, so the point was you know I gotta get a truck which is great but you can't fit everything on it like I was saying so you know you gotta have a generator um, concrete jackhammer a lot of times um, water tank you know and then operators um, you know usually we don't have the operators when we have jackhammer concrete we're not at that stage yet but you know, if we're doing like a quick little two, three hour install and then going to the next job, that could happen. So the point is, um, what I'm going to, what I did is I said, well, let me get an enclosed trailer because I'm going to need one anyway. And that way I can get that first, I can drive out to the job site, the guys can meet me there and drop the trailer, you know, have the generator, everything in there, all the tools they need is all inside and closed. Um, nice thing is that they need to run for lunch bathroom break, whatever they're doing, uh, they can just lock it up and go, come back, and good to go. So uh, we do work in a lot of rural areas, so it's kind of a pain in the butt to haul the trailer around, you know, if you just got to run home depot, stuff like that, so it's nice to just drop it, leave it, you don't have to worry about leaving a guy in the truck and watch the tools and equipment, um, kind of thing. So I'm going to show you what we got. picked this up yesterday it's a 6x12 Patriot and uh, I was debating whether to get the double doors or the ramp um, I like the double doors because you know we're not gonna do a lot of wheeling up and down but um, you can see it's probably a good foot um, and just getting it up up and you know up and down up and down up and down um, see that we're in her knees after a while so we do have the ramp which is cool you know we got wheel barrels you might have to haul dirt or rock off or do something at some point uh, single axle 3500 pound axle trailer weighs about 900 pounds so um, I don't you know I expect us to typically haul um, you know maybe a thousand pounds worth of tools around at all times so weird glare it's not not denim or anything looks like that in the video but it is a bull nose so I think we actually get like another 18 inches so we get the 12 feet which comes to about right where this these rivets are and then it extends out just a little bit so that's cool um, two inch ball flat four no brakes but I got a you know we got the Tundra the 5.7 it's got heavy-duty brakes on it and uh, I pulled it empty, obviously, and I mean, it pulled nice. I did go with the flat roof, and the reason for that is for solar. Uh, most of these are curved, 
but with the flat, you actually get a little more height. Um, so, but the curved, you know, starts here and curves up. Um, this sidewall, I guess, is actually lower with the curve. So, you know, I'm 6'4", um, I can stand up in here uh, pretty straight without shoes, so my boots on, I might have to hunch over a little bit. I think it's like 6'2", 6'2", height, somewhere around there. But um, anyway, I'll kind of open it up here and show you what's inside. Cool thing is the door is on springs. So it's super easy to open and close. But yeah, here's the inside. Uh, do you have a side door? So, you know, if um, we don't want to use the ramp, I'm just doing a quick little, let's say, a welding job. I'm gonna have the generator somewhere up here. I'm just run the cord out the side door and good to go. But um, yeah, man, I think this is gonna be nice. So I'm gonna put, uh, so they have a tracking system I'm gonna get today at Lowe's that um, I'm gonna mount one going across here and then mount one going across the top. Um, and then this side too. And uh, that way I can put different hooks. I can, you know, haul a six foot ladder, which uh, sometimes we need. Um, See, I got shoes on. I hit my head on that thing. Um, yeah, so I think that'd be cool. You know, I, I like the track system instead of screwing directly in the wall. That way, you know, I imagine I'm gonna rearrange it probably a dozen times. I've had a lot of utility trailers, a lot of flatbed trailers. I've never had an enclosed trailer. So um, I'm pretty good at setting up the utility trailer, how I want everything to fit. Here, I have no idea. Uh, I have some good ideas, but uh, it's gonna be just throw my stuff in here, get it to where I think it's gonna work, and then I'll probably rearrange it, you know, like I said, half a dozen times or so. But um, anyway, super excited, you know, I'm gonna get this thing outfitted today. So I'll, I'll, I'll get back with you guys and kind of show you the progress and what it looks like with everything inside, how it's set up. Uh, if you got any tips on maybe what works, what doesn't work for you, that'd be great. Cause like I said, this is my first one. Um, yeah, solar on top, probably gonna start off with a hundred watt, uh, might move up from there, but I do got some good uh, deep cycle batteries I got for super cheap from interstate. Uh, they're actually the batteries they use at Costco for their um, pallet jacks. They have electric pallet jacks, I guess. Uh, but they, they run them for a year, I guess it's their policy, and then they take them back and switch them for new ones. So um, it's still got a lot of life, but you know, $300 battery get for 60 bucks. So that's not bad. I think it's a hundred and it's bigger than 105 amp hour. I want to say it's about 135 amp hour, if that sounds right. Anyway, it's pretty, pretty good storage. So I'm going to have two of those with uh, probably um, a 2000 watt inverter. And, uh, you know, that can run like a Bosch. If I just got an anchor or something operate down real quick and I'll start the generator up, that'll run that, no problem. Probably not going to run the big jackhammer. Um, which is fine, you know, so we'll have a generator for that. But anyway, I don't leave this super long, so we'll check back in, kind of show you the track system, how I have it set up, and uh, go from there. Again, this is Brandon, the gate guy, and we'll see you in a little bit. Bye.